Let's make world stick a smoothie. We're gonna use frozen bananas, we're gonna use frozen mango, we're not gonna use any liquids because we want to make world stick a smoothie. So we don't wanna tin it up. We're also going to use a secret ingredient and that ingredient is going to make our smoothie very bright and blue, which is gonna be super mesmerizing. So stay tuned for that and let's hop into the video. All right, this is the blender that we're gonna use, the Vitamix Explorian. I'm just gonna set it up and I'll be right back. There we go. So we've got our blender set up here. So let's get right into the blending. So first we're going to add the frozen banana. Like I said before, make sure they're not fully frozen, otherwise they're not going to blend and your blender is gonna explode basically. So be careful. Um, if your blender is not that powerful, just add a little bit of liquid. It can be anything, it can be water, it can be almond milk, coconut milk, whatever. Um, just add a little bit, just a dash is fine. So now we're going to add the frozen mango. And before we're going to add the secret ingredient, we're gonna blend this up. So let's get right into the blending. Make sure to use a temper while you're blending because otherwise it's going to be super difficult for your blender and this really helps. So it really works wonders. Make sure to use it, otherwise your blender might have a lot of trouble. Often it also works really well to scrape the sides with a spoon, especially if it gets stuck. And then just continue blending. So apart from bananas and mango, we're also gonna use this secret ingredient, and this is blue spirulina powder, which is a 100% natural food coloring powder made from algae. So it's all natural, it's all plants, uh, but it gives a really nice blue, vibrant color to your smoothies, which is really nice. You can also use it for other dishes as well. Just gonna add one teaspoon of this, and it's gonna look really nice. I can assure you of that. So let's see what happens. When I saw you walking down that hill You can see how mesmerizing this color is. I think you can safely say this is one of the prettiest smoothie bowls I've ever made. And it's also one of the thickest smoothies I've ever made. You can see I can clearly flip the container. It's never coming out because it's so thick. So I think we succeeded our mission. I can easily even keep it on top of my head if I want, no problem. All right, let's put this baby into a bowl. Let's eat it because that's what it's all about. All right, time to decorate this bad boy. I'm just gonna use some simple toppings like granola, coconut, raspberry. And we're also going to use some quinoa pops. All right, time for a taste test. Let's see if it's actually good as well. Wow. Yeah, it's really good because the blue spirulina, like normal, regular green spirulina, doesn't have any taste. So you just taste the bananas and the mango. I think that combination is really good. It's really sweet. It has like an ice cream-like um, structure, so that's really nice as well. Yeah, I highly recommend this bowl for sure. Let me know what you want to see in the next video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, life's too short to eat boring food.